Hey, what is going on guys? Home Strider here bringing you part 4 of the how to make your own high quality uh, FPS shooter game and made by the game creators. As I always start these videos out with, be sure to go to the description down below and click the link to buy the program if you haven't already. It is super, super awesome. So for those of you who have been already been watching this series, basically, uh, you will notice so I'm starting the video out different. I'm actually starting the video out in the game. <clears throat> and that's because... We are not going to be editing the game inside of the, uh, the th basic editor, I guess. <clears throat> We're going to be editing inside of the game, and in order to do that, you're going to want to hit tab twice, and it'll bring up all these different settings. And these are all basically visual settings. So, you see sky type. It's basically, this is what we're going to start out with. You have all these different sorts of sky types. <clears throat> So, you'll see, you hit cloudy, and then just hit tab again, and wow, that actually looks pretty good, doesn't it? Instead of that same uh, boring clear stuff. Well, this is all good and good and happy for a uh, fun type game, but let's see, let's go down, let's go to moon cloud. And as you can see, it turns kind of uh, creepy looking. There's a bunch more happy ones. There's sad ones. There's pretty, very pretty looking ones. I think uh, like this golden it looks looks very very nice. And this is one of the many ways to make your games look super super professional. So one thing I want to do is I'm going to show you how to make your game look exceptionally good if it's horror based. Uh, if you want it to be dark, foggy, whatever. So I'm going to basically set the sky type to night. And this is how it's going to look. Well, you know, that's that's good and all, like I've said, but it's not really that creepy looking. <clears throat> so go ahead and hit tab twice again. You're going to want to come over to visual settings. Fog nearest. You can go ahead and set this all the way out. And, well, it just becomes a lot darker, yeah. Well, that's because the fog is not... There's no fog whatsoever. Well, if you set the fog nearest to zero, it means there is it's generating f fog, but the fog distance. You change this, and the fog gets closer and closer. I personally found that between 25 and 30 is good fog distance if you still want to have decent uh, lighting, so to speak. Now, next thing you want to mess with is this ambience level. Set this up and down, and it basically changes how bright or how dark <clears throat> your um, textures are. For horror game, I always just like to set mine to zero because it automatically just makes everything dark and it just starts giving stuff more eerie feelings. Now, if this is too dark for you, you can go ahead and go into the editor and um, <clears throat> add a light right here into the markers, and I will be showing you how to do that in a, a later tutorial. So to make this look a little better, I'm just going to raise the ambience level a little bit. Say 15. Ah, yeah, it looks good. Alright, but you might be thinking that the train still looks a little too light. Well, under the ambience level, you see ambience red, ambience green, ambience blue. Change that down. Put one of them all the way down. Well, it doesn't really look natural, does it? Well, you go ahead and change this and it essentially changes the different colors in the game. You can set all these down and it's gonna make stuff even darker. So I'm actually just going to leave that be for the time being because I actually like to mess with, with the surface colors. So let's have this all the way down and ew that that doesn't look natural whatsoever. Well, go ahead and set all of it down to zero. The surface green, surface red, surface blue. And now we're starting to get somewhere. Everything's starting to look real dark. Well, go ahead and... I like to set this at about 25 to 40, I found, is good spots to leave your surface colors. Alright, so that's, that's not looking half bad. Let's actually change the fog distance. Let's change that to, like, 25. Okay. And now, if you press F on your keyboard, it brings out a flashlight, obviously F for flashlight. And then, now your uh, character will be able to see easier, 
with a flashlight. If you do end up wanting to set this down to, let's say, 10. Or, let me change this to 10. It can be a bit touchy. Uh, if you, you want to set the ambience level all the way down. Well, I... Wow, that... Turn the flashlight off. Everything is super, super dark. Put the flashlight on. That gives it, like, the perfect feeling. For a horror-type game. Door is locked. Oh, I guess he didn't pick up the key. Go ahead and go in here. And as you can see, even inside here, it's super dark. And it just gives it a very good feeling for a horror-style game. So actually, I will go ahead and show you how to set a light right now instead of doing it later on. I'm going to go ahead to markers. And there's all sorts of light. White, red, green, blue, yellow, purple, and cyan, which is like blue. i just go ahead and pick the white, even if that's not the color that you want. Because come right here on it, right click. And don't worry, you won't be able to see this little thing here in-game. It's just going to look bright. You can change the color range. Let's change this down to, like, actually, 50. And I said don't worry about it if you don't want the color to be white because you can actually change the light color in here. So you can go ahead in here and you can just pick whatever color you want. I'm just going to... I've never really messed with a red before, so I will just change how that looks. Alright, and then I'm actually going to go ahead and set that inside of the building. Alright, so I'm back in the test level mode, and as you can see, no red light. But we come inside of the building, and open it up, and turn off the flashlight. You can see it kind of looks red down in there. Now, you're definitely going to want to mess with your ambience levels and stuff depending upon how you want the red to show up but not just because of the color of the bed you can see <clears throat> that the floor itself you look very close it does look red so that's going to conclude it for today's tutorial as always if you liked it be sure to drop a like comment subscribe tell me some other stuff that you'd like to see i really really appreciate seeing that from you guys positivity is always nice uh, as i always say at the end and the beginning of my videos here be sure to click the link down in the description below if you haven't already bought FPS Creator Reloaded, made by the game creators. Super, super awesome. Developers are awesome. Community is awesome. Everything about it is just freaking awesome. So again, I'll see you guys later, and peace out. Have a nice day.